All right, guys, so LR Trunks and Mai are the newest summonable LR to hit uh, JP Dokkan. Kind of a weird choice, especially at this time, like, you know, the Broly movie stuff really should be the focus on everyone's mind. And they dropped this, you know, Christmas Double Rights banner on us. That banner was so good that I had no problem whatsoever going ahead and actually rainbowing this Trunks. Uh, it was actually very, very quick. Again, I would probably say it's in you guys' best interest to wait for the Gogeta and Broly stuff. Because, here's the thing, that will probably be in Dokkan before the LR Trunks banner goes away, right? But, at the same time, that banner is just, it has so much value in it, that, like, I don't blame people if they want to summon. Like, yeah, <laughs> listen, there's a lot of good stuff here. Like, as you guys can see, I'm good for quite a while uh, in terms of Elder Kai's. You know, I've been... Very low on Elder Kai's for a while. Now, I'm not going to be low on Elder Kai's anymore. Uh, so, it's pretty easy to Dokkan Awaken this LR Trunks. Because just 7 medals from the story event. Uh, which will be very easy. Especially with the keys added into Dokkan now. With the key meta here. You know, hopefully they'll give out more keys. You know, as of right now, we don't know how like we're going to get more keys. But hopefully they won't be too hard to get in the future. Uh, if you, you don't get them from the story event now... Uh, they do pop up in the Baba Shop. Again, you know, the keys will help out. Because, you know, so many people have asked, like, oh, you know, when does the Beerus event coming back? When does the Bojack event come back? Because I wasn't able to farm up those medals. Uh, with the keys, that, you know, issue should be gone in the future. Uh, then the old Goku Black, uh, Rose Goku Black, Vegito Blue, and Vegeta Blue. Uh, the old versions of all their events. Uh, that's how we awaken to the TUR level. So... Uh, really uh, a pretty easy grind uh, you know there's technically you have to do a lot of fights but you know these fights are quite uh, old and quite easy uh, I've you know kind of stockpiled a good amount of uh, awakening medals like of all different kinds so I'm ready for these LRs because a lot of them do have very sort of random uh, you know level up gimmicks uh, so let me level up this Trunks, and then we'll awaken him to an LR. We'll get him the SA-20, and we'll test uh, him and Mai out on both the Future Team as well as the Time Traveler Team. All right, guys. So we have this TUR of this Trunks right here. Now, I, very quickly, I actually did put a little bit of thought into it, and I really might actually do it. This TUR is not bad. Uh, he's not a bad card at all. Now, he's not going to be anything super fantastic i think he is going to be limited to being very effective on the future category team uh or the time traveler category team but he is by far uh the best version of this trunks character uh it's the trunks teen future those are all the per you know kind of like parentheses and stuff he has uh he is easily the best version of that character so uh eventually i for sure will have a tur copy and i'll make sure to rainbow that uh, but I might jump back in the banner because, again, like, the, the stocking up on Elder Kai's for, like, forever is, like, a really big motivation for me right now. That's kind of why I'm thinking about going so deep on this banner, even though even, I've already got him rainbowed. But getting, like, an extra copy to have the TUR would be cool as well. Uh, all right. Now, to awaken him to an LR, very easy. You just need the Spirit Bomb Trunks medals, uh, Merge Zamasu, the new Goku Black, uh, the new Rose Goku Black, and then the new Vegito Blue events. Uh, and then we'll be able to awaken him uh, to an LR, where he is LR, Trunks, and Mai. Uh, and they're actually, again, they're very, very good. You know, of course, they're a bit limited, I think, for their maximum effectiveness to the Time Traveler or Future Teams, Category Teams. But they're still an incredibly strong unit. Uh, this is probably a type of unit we're going to be seeing a lot more coming up now. Uh, units that are, you know, going to be kind of tied to a certain category but are going to be very, very powerful. Uh, you know, this unit on either of their category teams is very good. Plus, I might even do a video of how good this unit is on Dokkan Battlefield because that leader skill where they have the Time Traveler category plus Super SDR, like, that's very impactful right now for Dokkan Battlefield where uh, the boss, Kid Boo, like, the really, really difficult fight, he's physical. I was just, I've been saying lately, some of you guys might know how, I guess I'll just level them up since I'm, you know, talking right now, but, uh, like, the bot, Super SCR needed a buff. Like, Super SCR, believe it or not, people don't want to believe me, has fallen way behind 
uh, Super Physical, Super Int, and Super Tech are leagues ahead of Super STR. So this LR will definitely help out with that. Obviously, they're, they're a little limited because you do have to have Time Traveler uh, category units there. But they're still going to be an incredibly strong unit for that category. So let me level them up and we'll start hopping into some events and testing out how good they can be. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and hop into an event uh, on the Time Traveler team. Now, it is, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to possibly run uh, the double LR Trunks and Mai sort of as a leader, right? Because, okay, LR Trunks and Mai are something I was badly looking for in that they are a second leader for the Time Traveler category, right? But specifically, the Time Traveler category is not the team that needed it. In Goku Black, uh, just to be real with y'all, is not the best no kind of uh, best exclusive unit out there. Uh, I, I, he's better than average. He is very good. It's just it takes time to build him up. But he fits very well on this team. He works well on this team. So he's not a bad leader for the Time Traveler category team whatsoever. So, you know, it's nice to have the new LR Trunks in mind. But again, a team like the Majin Buu Arc or Hybrid Saiyans, they need it so fucking badly. And then we get the time. The Time Traveler team was already good, and they get a second leader. But the way uh, LR Trunks and Mai work here is that they give four key and 130% to the Time Traveler's category. So I do think you can probably build uh, a nice team build for uh, the Time Traveler's category. With either uh, LR Trunks and Mai as your leader, or bringing a friend LR Trunks and Mai, uh, you know, some version of like them plus a Goku Black, uh, I think would work pretty well because that extra key, especially if you're planning on using a lot of the LRs, right? Like here, we're we're rocking three LRs on the team. Like already, that's enough to where the extra key would certainly help out a lot. Um, okay, so I decided to jump into the Goku Black boss fight. Uh, he is, of course, a future category enemy. So, Trunks and Mai have an additional six key to play with, and they also have a high chance to evade enemy attacks. So, Trunks and Mai are going to be working incredibly well uh, here against this version of Goku Black. So, let's go ahead and see how well they're able to handle it. Yep, there's the dodge. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. 2.7 million right there. And then Trunks kind of has a little bit of his Dragon Ball Fighters uh, super attack right there. Fantastic super attack. They're going to be a very powerful unit because especially in the Time Traveler category team, uh, they have basically a 140% attack buff uh, and they also have a 70% defensive buff. So they're going to be able to work both ways there. They'll be good uh, offensively and defensively. Now we'll see. Eventually, I do think every category, probably even stuff like Namekian World Tournament, will get a uh, category super battle road stages like really some of the most hype in dokkan i have right now is just i cannot wait to see when super battle road is updated i love super battle road so much it does get annoying sometimes even for me as the biggest whale you know i probably have like the best dokkan account out there and even i can get frustrated sometimes by super battle road but it's still absolutely amazing it's it's so much fun it's a good place to test out your units. I love it. So I'm very excited to see uh, new category stages as they get added. Um, okay, so let's skip the super attack with my girl uh, Supreme Opai of Time because this will give LR Trunks and my uh, their full key. Uh, and, you know, of course, they'll also activate uh, Fierce Battle linked up to uh, in Goku Black. I'll tell you, that's kind of like the... The only issue with uh, Supreme Opai of Time, right, is that she does not actually have, like, Fierce Battle. She doesn't awaken. So we're up to 3.2 million. See, like, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know how, like, if we're doing a normal fight against a non-future enemy, them getting their 18 key super every single time might not be that realistic, right? Uh, because, you know, they've only got what? What are their key links? They have Prepare for Battle, which is very common, and Dismal Future, which is also very common on this team but like that's it like <laughs> they've only got uh three key from links which certainly uh could be a, a very big issue a very big factor uh, in getting that 18 key super uh you know consistently which you know is where they're going to be able to get the the three plus million attacks that right but just the fact that they are able to get over three million 
They have a high chance to stun. They defend well. Like, I like them. They're an LR that brings a lot to the table. Plus, they have a very interesting leader skill. Low-key, their leader skill brings a, a lot of the value to this card, right? Like, again, I'm probably going to do a video where I take LR Trunks and Mai into Dokkan Battlefield, and we test them out against the physical Kid Buu boss. Uh, now, global players, you guys are going to see. Global players, you just got the Zamasu boss, who is very, very frustrating because he heals rapidly. Uh, when Dokkan Battlefield is updated with the new enemies, uh, the big-time annoying fight, well, there's two of them now. Uh, one of them is Kid Buu. Kid Buu sometimes heals, he sometimes dodges, and then he also has uh, an, an ability to super twice sometimes. Like, physical Kid Buu is an absolute nightmare occasionally. So, you know, he... I, I think this LR, like, testing them out against him is going to be a really good test to see, like, how good they really are uh, as an LR moving forward. So, uh, that's definitely a video I'm going to try and do. Uh, now, we have LR Goku Black on the rotation. The reason I bring him is because he has fierce battle, uh, you know, legendary power, and prepared for battle. Uh, they've also got Dismal Future, too. So, LR Goku Black actually links up really well with the uh, Trunks and my card. Uh, I also could probably use LR Cell in that position. 3.4 million. Very, very good. Uh, I could also use LR Cell in that position because he has Legendary Power and Fierce Battle as well. It was mainly the... Whoa! <laughs> Goodbye, Goku Black. Get absolutely bodied. Jeez, they are really, really impressive. So, all right, now let's actually try and see what they're like on the future team as well. You know, man, I just look at the future category team, and it's it's just not as impressive as the Time Traveler one, really. Like, you know, not having the Supreme Opie of Time really hurts. Uh, the Time Traveler team also has that Super Saiyan Bardock, who is very good. Uh, there's not really a good support unit here on the future category team, which is, is definitely a bit of an issue when we're talking about a team that has a lot of LRs on it. You know, you do have the future androids. They're able to create orbs, which is nice, but, like, this Trunks support unit right here doesn't cut it. Just a 25% to attack and defense, that's not good enough. Like, you want key, too. Key is very much going to be an issue for a lot of, you know, LR-type units, so I, I don't know, man. I think... I think Future Mai gives uh, three key to all allies, and then the attack and defensive buff are only for AGL types, right? And then she also gives, I think, is it a crit chance to Peppy Gal units? I think that's how that Mai works, but still, like, then we're just bringing a unit who's only giving key with no attack and defensive buff. Very, very wonky. Uh, a future category support unit is very badly needed. You know, a, a, how about a base form future Gohan? Boom. That's all we need. And, and that, you know, issue is sort of fixed up. So, uh, let, you know, we're, I hopped into the uh, SCR Rosé event. Again, you know, I did kind of want to see how well they're going to work at sort of max potential. Uh, let me skip into the thick of the fight and see how well they do uh, actually in here. All right, guys. So, first rotation, believe it or not, this will probably be the high point uh, that we'll see from LR Trunks and Mai right here. Sandwiched in between uh, LR Super Saiyan Future Trunks. Uh, well, actually, I guess that's uh, technically Super Saiyan Team Trunks, right? That's Well, that's at least the way they name him uh, in the game. And then also LR Goku Black, uh, you know, who is able to activate a few links. Three million. Yeah, not having a support unit or anything like that does hurt. Uh, maybe they, they would probably work a lot better on the future team if... Oh, there's the stun. That stun came into play. Uh, they would definitely work a lot better on the future team if we were able to rock the TUR for them as well. Because that TUR... Uh, is certainly quite useful, I think. It is going to be useful uh, in a lot of situations uh, with these units. So, I may... Like, I'm actually really considering hopping back in that banner uh, to hunt for maybe one copy of that TUR. But, I don't know. That probably would be a mistake, really. Uh, because, you know, the Blue Gogeta and Broly banners are coming soon. No doubt about that. Uh, and there will be many future... Uh, summonable LRs that I'll be summoning for, and I'll be pulling copies of this trunks, and I'll be like, oh no! Oh, I was looking for LR Krillin, and we got the LR trunks, like, you know, something like that in the future, so, I don't know, maybe I will, <laughs> maybe I'll control myself and not actually go in on that banner, uh, but again, hey, listen, I'ma tell y'all, yo, those Elder Kais, 
Don't sleep on those Elder Kai's, man. Those make the summons really, really nice. Especially because, again, I think a lot of those movie characters uh, are going to take a lot of Kai's. As, like, I, I personally don't think Gogeta and Broly will be LRs right off the right off the bat. But they could be. I, I mean, you know, never say never. And if that's the case, they might need as many as 19 Elder Kai's uh, for both of them. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, that would be crazy if they... If Dokkan basically dropped like three summonable LR banners in a row, because I pres <laughs> All right, so I think we're done here. <laughs> they did a lot of damage because obviously Trunks units uh, do extra damage against this uh, Goku Black event. So the seven million crit uh, plus stun. <laughs> I, I think that's a good indication that yes. This unit is incredibly powerful. I, I really don't think I need to show that that much more, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and break them down uh, before we finish up for today. So this is hope and promises for the future. Trunks team future and my future. Uh, their leader still is the time travelers category. Uh, key plus four, HP attack and defense 130%. Or super SCR types key four and HP attack and defense 100%. So they have one of the best leader skills in the game without a doubt. Incredibly good. That'll be so good for Dokkan Battlefield, Super Battle Road, and might be very useful for an Extreme Z-Wagoning in the future. We'll see, but that's incredibly good. Monster, monster leader skill. Uh, now their 12 key super is the Deathly Counterattack, which does colossal damage with a medium chance to stun. Their 18 key super attack is Fight for the Future, which does mega colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. So, you know, doing a 3 million attack stat plus a high chance to stun is wild. Their passive skill, the Future's Resistance, is attack 70% at the start of turn, plus an additional attack and defensive buff of 10%, up to a max of 70% per Time Traveler category ally on the team. So, you know, at their best on the full Time Traveler team, they've got a 140% attack buff and a 70% uh, defensive buff. I like the way the passive is set up to where they are very, very formidable on that Time Traveler team. Uh, then they also uh, get 6 key and gain a high chance to dodge enemy attacks when facing a future Saga category enemy. So that, of course, would be all Goku Blacks, Zamasus, uh, Trunkses, Vegito Blues. Uh, Int Blue Vegeta would count as well. Uh, so that, that could be a little bit more useful of an effect. Uh, you know, there are some tough Goku Black fights and stuff out there. So, again, for example, you know, if they ever brought back that healing Zamasu for Dokkan Battlefield, this Trunks and Mai would be very good there. That, that's a good point. Uh, their links are Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, Courage, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So they do have very solid links for their team with Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Dismal Future. Those are very common among Time Traveler and Future uh, units, so that will work out pretty well. Plus, Legendary Power, both the Future and Time Traveler teams have a ton of LRs. Uh, they have a 12 key multiplier of 150%, 24 key is 200%, you know, same as always for LRs. And they are on three categories. Uh, they're on the Time Traveler team, which we saw, definitely their best team. Uh, they are also on the Future category team, where they're definitely good. They definitely make the future category team better, uh, but they're not as effective there as they are on the Time Traveler team. Uh, and then, of course, they're also on the Combination category, uh, the new LR Yamcha team, where this unit might be able to break in. They, they could be very useful. They could probably fit well with some of those uh, other LRs that are on the team. So there we go, guys. Here is the LR Trunks and my card. A very, very strong LR. They have a very good summon banner. Thanks for watching. Let me know what y'all think of this newest LR, and I will catch y'all in the next one.